Alright guys, I'm back. I didn't know how uh, what was gonna go on after I quit the game, so I'm just gonna uh, be waiting right now for this to go. I know it's gonna go into the pre-draft interviews, Mavericks. Nice performance tonight. I'm GM and president of team operations for the Dallas Mavericks. We have the 13th pick in the draft and considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions to, real quick if you don't mind. Pass. Here in Dallas, we have an owner whose goal for this franchise every year is to bring home a title. Well, He's no, willing to spend a go. lot of money to make that happen, as he has proven in the past. We bring players in, and if they don't perform, we bring in new players who will. There's a lot of pressure to perform here. Do you think you can handle that kind of pressure? I can handle the pressure, but I like to play with you. There's been pressure for me to perform for my entire life. We should Obviously, change the voices for you know, it's never been on this scale, but it was pressure nonetheless. All I want is to win. And that's clearly what the goal is in Dallas. I want to be a part of that tradition style. in a big way. <laughs> Okay, last question. Forever. What do you think you'll bring to a franchise as far as marketability? Mm. Honestly, I tend to shy away from the attention. I'm not a fan of the glitz and glamour or the parties or the magazine interviews or the television specials or any of that stuff. If you need a guy who's going to get out in the community and make a name for the team, I really don't think that's me. I'm strictly focused on my game yes, and team, you know? That's how it goes, man. Some interesting answers. Thanks again for your time. If you can draft the Mavericks, I won't be upset. <laughs> Get someone getting drafted anything about them? Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the GM of the Trailblazers. We have the 10th pick in the draft and are interested in your talents. We just want to pick your brain a little before we decide. Let's get to it. Aside from a few veterans, I this is a very young team. Players, guys. We're bringing in a lot of young talent this offseason, and it won't be easy to get this team back into the playoffs immediately. Are you willing to take your lumps as a team in order to grow as a core along with all the other young talent the Blazers have? Yeah, I mean, I'd like to think that I have the mental fortitude to grow together as a team. You don't see teams as young as the Blazers get to the top without some growing pain, so... I'm prepared for that. Uh, but really, I'm excited to be a part of a new era here and would love to help bring Portland back to the top of the league. I wouldn't mind going to Portland, man. A lot of great players played in Portland. Next question. This question is a tough one to ask as this really isn't a right or wrong answer. Over the last couple of years, we've had entire seasons washed out by insurmountable injuries. injuries. As a franchise, we're becoming answer. more conscious on injury histories and what that means for our draft picks. What can you tell us about your injury history and, more importantly, your ability to play through pain? I've been pretty healthy my whole life. I've suffered some twists, some sprains, you know, typical kid stuff. The important thing is that I never let it bring me down or hold me no, back. No, bring you it's down. It's never me from going out and doing what I've wanted to do. Hopefully that was the right answer. Okay, that's all I have. I Damn. love what I heard here. Ooh, we would it, love though. to have you join maybe, us. We'll maybe. be in touch. Let's see. Who's in it? Austin Celtics. Ooh, what pick do they have? Even though they even don't have great Hello, pick. I'm the head scout of the Boston Celtics. Oh, wow, Pick me. We have the 16th pick in this draft, and we're looking at potentially using this pick on you. First, though, we would like to get to know you better by asking you a couple questions. Let's get to it. We had a lot of turnover here in Boston, but are still looking to be a team that can win the title. There is a tremendous amount of pressure to win here for any player, much less a rookie. Do you feel you're prepared to step in and fill the shoes of some of the great players that have left our team in the past months? Man, I'm a big fan of the tradition and history that makes the Celtics. I don't mind being Celtic either, man. That's a legacy team. Bill Russell. Uh, I'll be man. honest with you and say it will be a Kevin little intimidating McHale. coming in and you know uh, trying to replace the talent that Sam left. Sam Jones. Tons I know of that deep down here. I'm up for the challenge. You know, people might got considered Sam Jones great, but he was a good player. 
Who else is there? Interesting. Yeah, Larry Next Bird. Question. How could I forget it? Mr. Larry Legend. Playing in Boston comes with a certain level of expectations, as well as responsibility. When you look up at the Raptors and you see Russell, Parrish, Mikhail, and Bird, you know you Nothing have some big finish. shoes to fill. We've had players come in and simply become overwhelmed by everything. I need to know if you can handle the pressure before we go investing millions into you. I can definitely handle yeah, the pressure. Yeah, I can pressure. It's what I've been doing my entire life. Look, living up to the quality of those See, legends. There's a lot of good teams I want to go to, but I'm hoping to go to the honor to all of those legends. To get that I do my best to represent the, the green and white. Because I doubt there'd be another team out there. Okay, right now. I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely teams, someone four, we can use on our team. Now fifth, we just need you to be available more. when it's our turn to pick. If I don't get that team, I won't make another guy. Just let y'all know. Here we go, the draft. One cut off right here, guys. So prepare for the next video. I'm gonna see what I'm projected real quick. I better go 10 pick, guys. I'm gonna be pissed if I go become a Celtic. I wanna mind my Good evening and welcome to the 2013 NBA 